Now that we've got one wall mapped, we can reuse this mapping on all the other walls. What I'll check though first is to make sure that the brick is mapped in the right direction. If you've mapped an object and you'd like to see the mapping tool again, you can right click and choose UV sets. And there's that mapping under UV channel 1. We need to clean this up a little bit. Or it's here in the traversal. There's my polyplanar projection 1 and I can select it. Realize this probably came in with a couple of different UV sets from Revit. So I may want to clean this one up just a little bit. But I'll pick my mapping, and there's that mapping tool. And what, what I look for in this, I'll press 4 to shift, switch to a wireframe. What I look for is that if I'm facing the polygons in the right direction, the T for transform is in the lower left corner of the mapping tool. That's how I know that the brick is facing me correctly and the bump will go in the right direction. The grout between the brick will recess slightly as opposed to popping up. What I can do then is choose presets and save polyplanar projection preset and name this and I will call it brick and save it. And now when I need to map other brick I can simply choose that preset and get this exact mapping and rotate it as I need but I have the size already set. Now about those other UV sets. Multiple UV sets are handy. And what that lets us do if we need is bake out or uh, render to a texture space things like ambient occlusion or dirt or overlays or lighting. Um, what I'd like to do in this case is make sure that the brick is all in map one. And so I'm going to clean this up a little bit. And it's okay, just fine to clean things up and then remap, and especially with that preset. I'll go in here under Edit UVs. Actually, sorry, I'll go another Create UVs in the Set Editor. And for now, I'm just going to delete UV Channel 1. So now I just have Map 1, which is the default on this object. And now any mapping I apply will go into Map 1. And it's kind of nice it actually turned it all white. There's no UVs in here. It has no idea how to put the texture on. So what I can do very quickly is zip through this, grab faces that all are in a like direction, and map them. Create UVs, planar mapping, presets in the planar mapping, brick, replace, and there's that brick size. Now I'm going to work my way around here, catching the rest of these walls. And here's how I'll handle that front wall. I'm going to use the same select and deselect trick, actually. I'm going to select all the faces in my top view and hold control to deselect everything but what I want. And now here in my perspective, there's just the front faces of my building selected. And I'll choose Create UVs, Planar Mapping. It works, although it's streaking through. The mapping is in the wrong direction. As a check-in mapping, width and height can never be zero. The mapping will never work. So what I'll do is choose Presets, Brick, Replace. And then I'm going to take the Y rotation of that mapping, and flip it. There's my mapping. You can see here in a wire for, sorry, four in the wrong place. Here's my mapping, my mapping tool. There's the T right there is the square. There's a mapping. This mapping is the same size, the same place. I just took the rotation to match. Remember that the red T for transform should face you from the lower left corner if you're looking in the correct direction on the polys. And what I get are my bricks along this wall mapped across and matching the tight lines or the grout lines on the other part. It's very easy to work my way around the building like this, mapping it, so that the brick flows in the right direction. 